Here is an example of how to make the world map global connection lines. This is a model of Earth with textures. If we want to make connection lines on it, first, we should have several marker objects to be the connection point. First create a pyramid object. Make it editable. Place its axis at the bottom. Scale it down. Then get a clone object. And clone the pyramid onto the surface of the Earth. Scale its size down. Modify the clone's parameters. Be sure that the pyramid's y directions are toward outside. Then make clone editable. Select all pyramids and add a constraint tag. Enable the clamp option. Constrain to surface. Check the use normals. Align to Y plus axis as constraint. Select the Earth as target. Adjust the distance a little bit high to make sure that our ripple objects will not overlap with the Earth model. And then you can adjust the location of these pyramids to the place of the city or country you want to make connection lines. Now we have this pyramids as markers. Let's start making connection lines. Select several pyramids in turn. Execute the line connect order command. It will generate lines. Do not select other objects. Directly move the handle to adjust the position of the control points. Then play. We got our first line connection animation. Now we can see the ripple objects are too big. Select the all ripple objects and here you can turn the ripple radius down. Get camera closer to see clear. Adjust the thickness of the ripple. Under the all con point object you can adjust the thickness of the line. Then. Before making a new connection, put the time point at the end of the previous line. The place of the time point is when the new lines begin. Then select pyramids as you want and make new connections. Perform the connection operation again. Adjust the position. And repeat the above actions. Select the all ripple objects. Adjust the poly number. You can change the shape of the ripple object to a circle. If you want to adjust the density of the dash line, you need to expand the all con point object. 
Select all the null objects below. And adjust the dash density. This parameter is individual for each line. You can also change the line color under the all con point. And change the ripple objects color under the all ripple objects. So our line connection animation is complete. But finally, there is a question we need to pay attention to. If we render in the viewer panel, the result is right. But if render it to the picture viewer, you will encounter some strange problems. So before render, I suggest to select all the constraint tags and turn them off. And then you will get the right result. Finally, you can render earth and lines in layers and composite them in After Effects. I wish this video will help you, and thank you for watching.